Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going over one of the most deadliest set combinations that you can rock on literally any class that terrifies me to this day. I've played PvP for the past seven years and whenever I see these procs to the set, I just run away. So, <laughs> let's get into it. Hey, welcome back guys and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video a huge shout out to my patrons you guys are absolutely amazing if you want to also be a patron i have a link to that down in the description as well as on the youtube banner on the front page on my youtube channel i have all kinds of tiers with all kinds of perks if you guys want to check that out please do so next matter i'm doing a pvp top five series you guys have a video of that in the top right hand corner of the screen if you guys are interested in how to submit your clips please do so by clicking on the card or by clicking on the link in the description now with all the intros out of the way let's go ahead and get into the set now you'll see some gameplay footage of my sorcerer in the background i actually am running one of these sets of mechanical acuity we're doing a melee mag sork build which is very interesting it's very fun to play i'm Thinking about making a build video on this later, it's kind of a hybrid. I thoroughly enjoy playing it. The style is very brawleristic. It's very in-your-face sort, which I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and get into the first set here. Mechanical Acuity. It is craftable. The, the beauty about these set combinations, everything's craftable, craftable. And the Monster Helm set that I suggest comparing it with is pretty farmable as well. So we have Mechanical Acuity. The one piece gives you stamina. Max of Magicka, Weapon and Spell Damage, and then the 5 piece. When you do direct damage, you gain uh, Mechanical Vision for 5 seconds, granting you 100% critical strike for 5 seconds. Guys, everything crits. I mean, not the procs, that's obviously. So, on my Sorcerer, or in this build in the background, I'm actually running the Shadow Mundus to amplify our crit damage numbers that we get. This pairs really, really well with any class that has some sort of intrinsic crit multiplier. You know, uh, Nightblades uh, comes to the top of my head. I actually am terrified when I see this on a Magplar. When he puts power of the light on you and you see mechanical acuity proc, you better be blocking everything or roll dodging everything because you know the burst is coming. This by itself is a super, super scary set. When you see it proc, guys, the best thing you can do is dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Okay, don't, <laughs> don't try to man up when you see this proc, okay? Next set we're running. Clever Alchemist. This is also craftable. I know this is people's go-to sets. The beauty about this set and Mechanical Acuity, you can run Mechanical Acuity on the front bar. You can run Clever Alchemist on the back bar. What this does, it frees up your slot economy, meaning you can have a Mythic item as well as a Monster set in addition to one piece of training if you want to completely optimize your gear slot setup. So, Clever Alchemist. Gives you health, health, you need survival abilities, patch, law, bursty boys, four piece, weapon and spell damage, five piece. When you drink a potion during combat, you increase your weapon and spell damage by 675 for 20 seconds, guys. That is absurd, and you can do this whenever you want. So the beauty about running Clever Alchemist with Mechanical Acuity, sometimes with Mechanical Acuity, you can't get everything to line up exactly when you need to. So when you see Mechanical Acuity, proc clever alchemist is there to help as well because you can proc clever alchemist whenever you want as long as you're on your back bar you you always want to proc this on your back bar so as soon as you see mechanical acuity proc or you don't have to wait for it to proc you can pop your clever alchemist preemptively because it gives you 20 seconds of this buff duration and then when mechanical acuity procs you'll have that 675 spell damage you don't carry over from your back bar these two sets together are nutty they're absolutely nutty I myself being a seven vet, seven year old vet in PvP, when I see mechanical acuity, and I, I I just assume people's running clever alchemist. I mean that's that's just me. Because it's it's a scary set combination. This amount of damage you can output in like the, the five seconds is absurd. And most people this patch aren't running a lot of crit resistance because of all the proc sets, so it's even deadlier in this patch. Um I really want to run this on a stamina class once I do make it. The best classes to really pair this with that come to the top of my head is the Magplar, obviously. Uh, any stamina class, like legit guys, literally any stamina class you put this on, you're going to absolutely shred people. But some classes, 
this won't pair very well with, uh, for example, the mag DK. Uh, you probably don't want to run this because you really don't have a lot of burst. You just have your dots, you know, a little bit of poke damage. And I also wouldn't run this on the, the mag crow either because it takes a little while to set up your burst. And, and most of your things are like one or two instances. I, I I just don't think this would be very good on a mag crow either. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am. I do have a mag crow leveled up, but uh, I've yet to try these sets on the mag crow. But... Uh, just on paper, it doesn't. It seems like a very underwhelming set combination for them. But yeah, any stamina class, especially you Genki boys out there, you're gonna absolutely love this in Cyrodiil. If you catch people off guard, the only way to really counter this is to just roll dodge, CC the person with the 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 mechanical acuity product, or just just blocking, roll, just just get the fuck out for five seconds, and then you might live. All right, but uh, some classes it, you can't get away. You know, a stealthy Nightblade comes up with mechanical acuity, clever alchemist proc, you're probably dead in the big scheme of things. Now, as I said earlier, this does free up some slot economy, meaning we can run a mythic item. Uh, mythic items, it just really depends on build and what class you are and kind of what sets you feel like you you know, you know know need to run. That's entirely up to you guys. But the set I would pair with this was a monster set is Balrogs. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar what the Balorg or Balrog does, so it gives you a one-piece weapon and spell damage. And then also, when you cast an ultimate ability, you gain weapon damage and spell damage equal to the amount of ultimate consumed. In addition, you get physical and spell penetration to 23 times the amount for 12 seconds. So, with these three sets together, so you're getting spell pin, spell damage, you're getting a clever alchemist product of a shit ton of spell damage, and plus everything's going to crit. Guys, you're going to melt anyone with this who is caught off guard or who does not have the resources to completely block for the full duration or roll dodge. It's a very, very scary set combination, and I, again guys, to this day... I'm terrified of this. <laughs> I streak. I, I run away. I hope I, I I get the fuck out. Okay, <laughs> but that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this. Again, the high points of this is you can queue up the burst anytime. It's craftable. The monster says it's easy to farm. Go in there with a few friends. You guys should have no problems knocking this out and getting the set pieces that you want. But I really hope you guys kind of like these series. I, I do enjoy doing these set combinations and synergies thereof. So if you guys kind of like stuff like this, or if I need to do more beginning player, you know, new player experience type of guides like this, you know, please leave me a note down in the towel section if you guys wouldn't care. I really need some feedback on this series because I'm trying to do like a series on the channel in addition to a PvP Top 5 that you guys actually enjoy and you would actually and you'll like to see. Again, there's a finite amount of sets in this game that I can possibly go over, but you guys know me. If there is a broken way to abuse this set, even the slept on sets, I will do so. So if you guys want to see, some, see something like this, some meta breaking, some, I won't say cheesy, but uh, you know, off meta builds and set combinations, you know, please let me know. I really appreciate the feedback. Again, thanks to everyone who watches my videos. We actually hit 4,000 subscribers as of yesterday. That's a huge milestone for the channel. Thank you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.